Hello everyone, welcome to McClellan Air Force Base in Sacramento, California. And allow me to introduce you to the Global Super Tanker 747-400. Uh, this aircraft was converted from a Japan Airlines 747 into what is now the largest aerial firefighting aircraft in the world. And uh, we're going to take it over to the Pawnee Fire in Lake County, California. It's not too far away from Sacramento. It's just off to the east, just a little bit. So it only takes about 20 minutes to get out there. And I'm just going to show you the route we'll take. Uh, we're going to depart McClellan out this way. We're going to go by the Williams VOR. And then we'll go by Clear Lake. And the fire is just a little bit south. So it's going to be in this vicinity here. And that's where we'll be flying our patterns but uh yeah it's just gonna be the way we'll take out there it's just gonna be a vfr flight basically uh but i just kind of wanted to map out the direction that we're going so i could show you and uh, i'm gonna spare you the taxi and all that stuff uh, we're just gonna get right to it onto the runway uh one six and uh, begin this trip uh this aircraft can carry up to nearly twenty thousand gallons of uh, flame retardant or water uh, which is what makes this aircraft very effective in fighting these fires. Uh, I believe it costs up to $250,000 a day to operate, uh, but the, uh, the uh, Forest Service uh, often contracts this aircraft to fight these fires. It flies all over the world. I believe this is the only one right now in service, uh, this particular uh, 400 series. It came in from Colorado Springs to uh, help fight the Pawnee Fire in Sacramento. landed in Sacramento actually last week. Uh, hunt around and, and came out. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get in the air. We'll continue the conversation up there. Um, so let's get out of here. Airspeed's alive. Eight knots. Europe. It's always a treat when this aircraft comes to town, although it's uh, unfortunate of the, for the circumstances of why it has to come in here. Uh, California is beginning its uh, yearly forest fires. This is the one of the first ones, and uh, like I said, it came in from Colorado Springs. I believe it's based out there. And uh, comes into Sacramento sometimes. Uh, came in not that long ago for an engine overhaul, and and uh, it was out here a lot uh, last year fighting the uh, the fires in Napa, Sonoma County. Uh, but yeah, I saw it come in last Sunday. I was actually coming home from breakfast, and I saw it fly over the freeway and uh, did the pattern. Um, and then the next day, or a couple days later, it went out again, just flew the pattern at the airport, uh, came around three times and landed. So I've been following what this aircraft is doing, and then uh, finally yesterday it actually went out and uh, went over to the fire and uh, did some circuits around there to help put it out. But yeah, I live close to this area, I live near, uh, you know, kind of in the vicinity of McClellan, so I always see it, depending on what the winds are doing that day, I usually see it uh, coming in and out, it flies real low. Um, you know, depending, uh, depending on what runway they're using. Uh, but it's always a treat to see it. Like I said, just unfortunate the circumstances of, of uh, why it's out here. But uh, yeah, it's the only one in the world right now. It's a pretty cool air, airplane to see. This, this plane is uh, very loud. Um, uh, usually when I listen to 747s uh, at an airport setting, you know, they don't, it doesn't seem, the loudness of it doesn't seem as, uh, it just seems normal, you know, because you're hearing constant aircraft coming in and out. But when it flies over your neighborhood, you know, and you, you don't usually have some before someone's flying over, it's uh, extremely loud compared to the other aircraft that, that come by. C-130s fly by all the time, stuff like that. Uh, but this will uh, this will shake your walls when it's flying over. Uh, but yeah, we're just heading out to the fire now. We're, uh, like I said, we're heading towards the Williams VOR. We'll make a left, and then the fire should be down in that, the, uh, the area by the you know way past the base of the lake i'm using firefighter x and if you guys want a tutorial on that and how to use it um 
uh, I could put something together like that because there's gonna be a lot of forest fires. You might want to get it. Basically, you get it and it spawns real world fires or custom fires to any location you want. Um, but yeah, you can download the real world data, load them in, and then it'll populate the simulator with the fires and you can go fight them. It'll load your plane up with the flame retardant. It does look red when you uh, release it or, uh, or water, when you release the water too. And then it keeps track of how much you have and, and things like that. Um, it, it's a little hard on the frames when you have the fires going, uh, so the frames will go down a little bit, but for this flight it wasn't too bad. It's, it was definitely still flyable and manageable, but it's a lot of, a lot of stuff for it to... But yeah, I mean, usually the particles are, you know, could hurt performance sometimes. So I set up some radial fixes for the two areas I think that it's in, just so I can have a 5 and 10 mile radius around that area and continue flying the pattern. So once we get in there, uh, we'll just fly it. And they dump uh, the flaps pretty low when they uh, fly these approaches, and uh, I'm just going off videos that I watched on YouTube. Um, you know, it's the only thing I could go off of to kind of mimic this, this kind of thing. So it should be fun. It's a different kind of flying, and it's just fun that you get to take the 747 and and just fly it that low and through smoke and and try to put out these fires. So it's pretty fun. Um, delivery is on AV Sim. You can find it on there. Just search uh, Global Super Tanker, and you'll find it and download it. And it looks really good. It's done very well. And uh, yeah, it's the uh, November 744 Sierra Tango um, registration. They, they usually go out as uh, Global Super Tanker 944, that'll be the, the uh, flight number. And uh, it's on Project Fly, and uh, you can you can fly it on there. And uh, Which is also nice, because you can keep track of the logbook, see, uh, you know, debrief your flight when you're done. So we're getting close, it's a little hazy off in this area. And then I'm just going to cut together a bunch of clips. So who knows what fires will come up later. I'll probably continue flying this aircraft. Uh, if you guys like this video, I'll uh, fight some of the other fires, maybe try it out with a helicopter and and uh, see what we can do. Now we're gonna start um, heading down to 3,000 feet. We're flying at 6,000. We're gonna get a little lower to 3,000 after this, uh, we make this turn. And then we'll be heading out to the fire. We're getting pretty close now, so we should start to see it pretty soon. But yeah, uh, prepared version 4.3 came out. I haven't downloaded it yet, uh, but I know the C-130, a bunch of different variations of the C-130 were added. And uh, some of those fight fires too, so it'd be interesting to use those. And just see what we can do this season. Okay, have the fire in sight. It's coming up on our right. You're going to see it uh, come into the windscreen in just a moment. And we're going to take on the fire off to the right and before coming back around. Uh, this one's kind of interesting because it's on a mountain, uh, just to kind of on the side of the mountain. So we'll see what we can do. I, uh, it's my first time combating fires in the 747. Actually, ever. I haven't really. Uh, I got Firefighter X last year, but I didn't really use it too much yet to fight fires. I just kind of had it for the effect. So here we go. We're going to go in and make our first pass and then we're going to turn right out of there and loop back around and get the other side. So I got a bunch of clips edited together to kind of make this a little more interesting. Uh, exterior shots, interior, all mixed up so it should be pretty good. We're going to get right over it, dump the retardant and fly out of there. Traffic. Traffic. Terrain. Traffic. Caution. Terrain. Terrain. Pull up. 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 Terrain.
Terrain, terrain. Pull oh, up. Caution, terrain. Traffic. Caution, terrain. Traffic. Terrain, terrain. Pull oh, up. Terrain, terrain. Pull oh, up. All right, made our first terrain, pass. Terrain. Oh, even up. puts the sound in there for terrain, you too. That from the firefighter actually oh, did not add that in, so you'll hear that sound when you when you dump your water or retardant. And come around for our second time. It'd be, this would be a pretty interesting um, flight to be on if you could get on one of these. I believe up top they uh, have to wait for about six people, and these people are doing different uh, different jobs because um, there's a lot to manage when you're probably doing one of these flights. And there's also other aircraft out here, usually two. They don't always just have one tanker out there. There's uh, sometimes. Uh, a few so from McClellan usually I'll see about three of them leave depends on how severe the fire is and how many fires are going on um, you know last season when they had them going down in LA and, and Napa uh, tankers were leaving all day constantly every few minutes another one would come in they broke records I believe with how much uh, many gallons they were loading on planes but yeah sometimes they have two or three leaving the airport uh, and they fly over together and then come back Bay of Slate County. I've been out there once. Not much to do. It's kind of a strange city. Uh, you know, businesses are kind of open when they want to be, and, and the hours are kind of different. Uh, but not much to do in that city. There's just a lake. I went swimming in that lake uh, for a little bit once. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting uh, time out there. It's getting hot. It's uh, 105 out in Sacramento right now, so it's summertime is in full effect. Fourth of July is coming up next week one of my favorite holidays just to get together with the family and barbecue and play around with fireworks and uh, hopefully not cause fires like this uh, but there's the fire straight ahead we're gonna fight that side the left side which uh, is still has the smoke building up there So yeah, just getting Firefighter X adds a new layer of uh, something you can do in the sim. You know, take out whatever you want, helicopter, smaller planes, um, whatever. I'll try to mix it up this season, maybe do something else with this plane again. And then, um, yeah, maybe try out something with a helicopter. I haven't done the bucket where you fill the bucket up um, at the lake, but that's for more smaller fires. So we're coming through the smoke now. We're going to aim for that part straight ahead.
Terrain, terrain, pull up. All right, with that, we're gonna get back to McClellan. We're out of flame retardant and did our job best we could. Covered a lot of the area, so. Now we're just gonna fly at 6,000 feet and, uh, yeah, like I said, make up the way back in McClellan. We're gonna land 1-6, which they have an ILS approach on that side, so we're gonna shoot for that. That, that was some fun and different flying to do. And like I said, if you do it on Project Fly, you can always debrief after and uh, check out how you did. So again, thankful for that tool that there's um, a way to do that. We've been flying for about an hour. And uh, that's really all you need. We've carried plenty of fuel and uh, about a full tank of the flame retardant. About uh, 19,600 gallons. Which is the max the aircraft will carry. Here we are approaching McClellan right now. We are about 15 miles out. And we're just going to make a straight in approach. Well, it's not too straight in. You uh, kind of come in at 45 and then we'll be in. 25, 100. Start slowing down now. I go down to 1500 feet, we're slowing to 180 knots. And start configuring flaps in the landing gear. Now the California Capital Air Show is also coming up in this city at Mather in September and they're celebrating 100 years of Mather Airport. So it's going to be a pretty big show and I think they might also be doing some night um, aerobatics, just a night show and stuff, which I've never seen one at night. Uh, so I'll definitely be going to that. It's going to be a lot of fun. Looking forward to that. It's always so hot though in September, but they kind of, they have to have it then there, you know, if they do it any later in October. Um, they run the risk of bad weather as far as the uh, ceiling and rain and stuff like that. We're lining up with the runway now, and we're going to be on the ground in just a couple minutes. After this fire, I don't know if they're keeping the plane out here or if they're moving it over to Colorado Springs, but I'm sure it's going to be back in Sacramento if it doesn't stay uh, pretty soon throughout the summer, so I'll be seeing it again. It's kind of fun to plane spot when uh, this is going on, just go outside, 
monitor the uh, crawling and pull up uh, flight radar 24 and get your camera ready because there's a lot of planes coming in. 1, so we're going to go sterile cockpit. I'll be with you on the ground where I'll say the goodbyes and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the flight. A little bit off center line, unfortunately, but we're right, getting it back lined up. Four, and uh, we're going to go exit the park where we started from. You guys didn't see where we started from, but we uh, kind of started near, uh, more in the center of the airport. Three we're going to leave it there. Remaining. I got one replay, so once we get off onto the taxiway, I'll keep the replay, and uh, then we'll contact departure. Sorry you have to hear the uh, the gear warning. It does that on replays, I don't really know why. Uh, spoilers won't activate either, they were armed, they deployed, but sometimes on the replay you actually have to pull them out again for them to show up, for, for it to capture them, so it's kind of buggy. Good-looking livery. I like the colors. It's a good paint scheme they went with. And that's going to do it for the flight. It was a uh, fun one to do. You might want to try it. Uh, I encourage you to try it. So um, That's going to do it for us. This plane will be on the channel again, so look out for it. But for now, you guys take care, and thanks for watching.